Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I share with you my passion in DIY. My name is Jess and today I'm sharing with you how I make this lip dress from my old dress. Let's have a look at my old dress before the transformation. It's an oversized dress. So first step, I'm going to divide the dress into two main pieces for the slip dress by cutting two sides of the dress first. Then I'm cutting the stitching line on the back and two line of the shoulder. The front of the old dress will be the back of the sleeve dress. From the bottom line, I go up 66 cm and draw a line. So the length of the back will be 66 cm. At the bottom line, I take the maximum size of the fabric with a 66 cm. It will be the wide of the slip dress. On the right edge, I go to the left 7 cm and mark a mark there. And doing the same with the left edge. From that mark, I draw a line straight up to meet the line I drew on the top before. So I will have the rectangle with the size 42cm wide and 66cm high. At the right of the top, I go down to the right of the bottom and connect them together by the drawing line. I do the same for the left. After cutting, we will have the back of the slip dress. Moving to the front of the slip dress, I do similar to the back that I divide the wide of the front first with a 66 cm. Then making the rectangle with the same size. A 42 cm wide and 66 cm high. After that, I draw the line to connect the top right to the bottom right and the top left to the bottom left. So I will have the same piece with what I did to the back of the slip dress. But from the right of the top, I go inside 7cm and mark a mark. Then I do the same for the left. From that mark, I go straight up 15 cm and draw the line. From the top of my drawing line, I will draw the arc line to the right and the left of the top to create the hands for my slip dress. For the neck of the slip dress, I make the mark at the middle of the line between two straight drawing lines. From there, 
I go up three centimeters in another mark. Then I draw the arc line from the top down to the mark to have the neckline for the slip dress. After cutting, we will have the front part of the dress. Next step, I'm using the leftover fabric to create the tape which is 4 cm wide. We will need 4 tape with 2 tape in 60 cm and 2 tape in 60 cm. I'll use the short tab to connect with the neck first. Use the beams to hold them together and sew by the light. After showing, I fold the tab into the showing line, then folding it again to hide the showing line. I use the pins to hold my work before showing them. And here is the result. Next step, I'm using two long tabs to connect to the hands. And doing similar with what I did to the neck, I use the beams to hold them and sew them together. After showing, I do the same like the neck that I fold the tab into the showing line, then show them together. The difference here will be the extra fabric of the tab. We just do the same with what we did to the hands. But instead of folding the fabric into the showing line, we will fold them into each other. Next step, I use the last short tape to connect to the back of the sleeve dress. And like what we did to the front of the dress, I use the beams to hold them before showing. Ok, 
and double folding the fabric into the sewing line. And here the back after showing. I am now going to connect the front and the back of the slip thread together. I use the pin to fit two sides of the hand first. Then pinning down along the line and sewing. At the end of the dress, I do double folding to hide my cutting. Then sewing to finish the end of this dress. Moving back to the top of the slip dress, from two sides under the arm, I go inside 10 cm and mark the mark at the back of the dress. They will be the connected points of the tie from the front to the back of the slip dress. You can wear the dress to locate the length of the ties before fit them to the back. I use the pins to hold them then sewing them together. Turn to the front of the slip dress and mark a mark at the middle of the neck. And I use the plastic pen to create the shearing there. After showing, we will finish the DIY. And here is the result, my DIY slip dress. It's very easy to make, but the result turned out so good. I really love it. You can wear it in two ways. The only slip red for the sunny day or a big day. Or layering it with the white t-shirt like this when it's colder. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and click to the subscribe button to see more video coming up. See you in my next video.